Hi all, Kate Tamara here, covering 13Z. This is a playtest. Uh, it's going to be a pretty new release, and I have multiple bits of feedback to give about this game because I've played it on the Steam Deck and I'm playing it right now with this footage here uh, on my computer with an Xbox controller. So let me, let me just kind of get into it as I go, right? I think that's probably the best way to go about it. Let's go ahead and play. For ages untold, the Twelve Zodiac Guardians of the East have safeguarded humanity's fate. But as the threads of tradition unravel, so too does their influence and power. Determined not to fade into obscurity, they have revived the Zodiac Trials, the very crucible that once proved their own metal. Now they seek a thirteenth Zodiac, one who embodies their virtues and can bridge the old ways with the new. Let your Zodiac Trials begin. Master your abilities now, for beyond this room lies true Here we go. <laughs> oh, so far I'm really liking controlling with a controller versus controlling on the Steam Deck uh, for this particular title. I don't have too many too many issues with other games, but for, for this one in particular, I just feel like for uh, it's the full action-y gameplay, it's really, really nice to play with an Xbox controller. Now, I'm going to hold this. Release. It's the almost kind of old school uh, tutorial where we're covering all the different, different controls like this. So I'm really impressed by this game. I just want to to make that clear first and foremost. Uh, having played it on the deck, uh, this this feels oh, like ready to face the unknown. Feels like Hades, but with. Genshin Impact like graphics. <laughs> that's what the gameplay loop is like. You'll see soon enough, but that's essentially what it's like. It's a it's a roguelike, great battle system, great action, choices to make. A scroll that lets you harness the destructive forces of fire or controlling forces of water. So I went for fire. I played it earlier, so I'm gonna go for water this time. We have a whole alternate path that we've opened up. Let's go ahead and keep going. So the goal is to kill all of the enemies in the area. So a little bit unlike Hades, right? I guess that's like the example I keep going to as <laughs> all of the action combat roguelikes. Uh, there's treasure. I just feel like mentioning that, I guess. There's like uh, little clay pots to break open and uh, get various coins. And I highly recommend getting as many coins as possible. Uh, you could run into issues where there's something that costs a bit too much, just a little too much. And if you had collected more coins, you'd be fine. Perfect dodge. Perform a perfect dodge by dashing with right button just before an enemy's attack connects. Successfully doing so briefly slows down time, giving you a strategic advantage to plan your next move. All right, so right button just when we get hit. So let me see. So we can center the camera with uh, the right stick, but we can't actually, uh, let me, let me practice that right button stuff. Oh, no, that didn't work. <laughs> I wonder if I just randomly s smash the right button, if uh, that'll be good enough for me. I don't know, I feel like uh, just focusing on DPS is probably, probably the best bet for me. Ooh, I did it, I did it just, in but just then. <laughs> Oh gosh, he, he hits hard. Oh, he hits quite hard. Look at my health. 38 out of 70 you now. I'm gonna... This practice technique. Dealt a, deal a lifetime total of 5,000 damage. Through obstacles, you found this is a particular type of attack. That is my favorite. Get into it later. But see these? Make sure you break them open. Grab whatever coins, because you're gonna need quite a few coins along the way on your journey. There was at one point where I had like 98 coins and if I just had two more, two more, I would have been fine. Okay, so left button interact, blessing shrine, obtain the zodiac's blessing. See, look, I need a hundred coins here. I have 73. 
And I can also pay in health, which is interesting. That is something quite novel. I'm going to take this water scroll that lets me harness the controlling force of water, and I get to pick what I want here from these three scrolls. After a perfect dodge, or when you hit, an, or when hit, inflicts attackers with chill. Your physical defense is increased by 15%. Primary attack inflicts chill and releases a short-range icicle. Or after using a special, frost orb forms around you. I'm going to go with primary attack. We now have a new gate. I just want to make sure I don't miss any jars. See, over here, there's some jars. Could have missed them. Could have missed out on just a couple extra coins. I'm not sure if the coins regenerate or something. I could see myself being silly enough to just, I don't know, wait for them to regenerate in order to do this. But gosh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pay the 14. Here we go. That might be a mistake. We will see in the next. We'll see in the next level. Uh, there are ways to heal, but um, kind of have to get lucky with that as well. So, next reward: use to unlock cultivation grid upgrades in town. Next reward: trade or use coins to obtain upgrades. I'm gonna go with this. I don't even have any coins. I, I mean, outside of the 75, I guess I do have coins. <laughs> I uh, guess I do have coins. You know, I say I don't have coins. I don't know why I said that. Um. So, I'm going to take down these, these monsters. My favorite attack is when I'm not even using it. Because I want to wait until I'm around a group. Let's, let's do it right here. That's the right, right trigger. And it doesn't go off all the time, but it's like a sort of cluster group attack. And because you're in the air, it helps. And because you can do it from kind of far away from the enemy, it uh, helps to make it so you're very unlikely to get damaged. It's a nice... Nice little thing. This one right here. I keep trying to... I don't have to try to remember to press the right button. Right button. Ooh. Oh, hey, you! Ooh. Oh, I wish that I... That for him. Okay. Okay, let me get out of the way. Oh, goodness. How am I getting... How do I get damaged? <laughs> How am I getting damaged when I get damaged? I'm gonna take this. Oh, these guys too. I'll take care of them first. There we go. There we go. Hooray! Oh, I really have to push right button multiple times for his combos. Make sure I never get hit. Oh, look at that. He, he is he's able to heal. I can't even heal. Look at that special <laughs> move. I like the combat. It's flashy. One at a time, challenger. So we have even more that we can do here. Blessing statue. Obtain the Zodiac's blessing. Gain 10% increased special cooldown reduction. I'll go ahead and pay for that. I'll take some jade. Marvelous. Get all this jade. Just pick that all up. Yeah, I would say that it's it's incredible that this game does have Steam Deck support. It's great to see that. It's and it it plays nicely. I definitely I enjoy playing it on the deck, but having a bigger screen for this particular game uh, is really ideal. Like for example, that Jade, right? That we just saw fly about and I picked up all of it. On a smaller screen, maybe the camera seemed seemed closer to the ground moreover. And I, I'm pretty sure I missed out on some Jade that had fallen to the side and just like, I don't know, the field of view is nice here. Uh, let's see. I do like how the buttons are closer together on the deck though. Let's that because that means that with the right button, for example, being close to the right trigger, it's a nice experience. That like a split second faster, split quarter of a millisecond. Look at that treasure chest over there. So one of the only the only issues I have with this game is that I feel like if I wasn't paying attention, I could very easily miss out on important things like that jade. Um, and that's on me, but <laughs> it's just, 
I don't know. It'd be nice if, just for QOL purposes, if a uh, game let you know that, hey, you know, you didn't pick up all the treasure in this or that room or this or that location. I'm gonna do my special. I like that special. I actually like doing it in the air and it still has effects on everyone. The combat is pleasingly fast and just movement is fast, everything is fast. It's a nice game. Now, I'm gonna deal with you. I am so focused on him. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Grand Tapestry of the Trials. Onward, challenge. Each special deals 10% bonus damage. Charged charged attacks. Okay, so you know what's funny? I have an opinion right now. Um, I'm gonna let you know my opinion. Charged attacks in games, right? Holding down the button. I never remember to hold down a button. I am such a button masher. I just I don't remember to hold down a button. I I never the see the point of holding awaits. down. A <laughs> uh, I should try to do that more though. Let's jade get shards. more jade. Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. It's another treasure chest. A small fortune. <clears throat> or just false hopes. Wow, we already have 133 coins. We're gonna be able to get neat things with that. Just always feel like I don't know. It would be easy for me to miss something. Some little tiny detail. It's not that important, though. Let's leave this area. Overgrown Pagoda. Cycle of Time. Defeat Gold Croak. These grand structures are now mere echoes of their past, reclaimed by nature's There's nothing over past. here. Nothing over here either. Is there? How odd to have these uh, these places and there's nothing there. <laughs> I don't know if maybe things will be added later. Or something. Look in the distance. That's kind of cool. So fire or just stick with water. I feel like we'll stick with water since water, water. And I have twelve. Uh, not twelve. Twenty health. That's is scary. Ah. I just jumped out of the way of danger. I'm gonna do my special. Oh no. Ah. I'm lucky I'm, I'm, that I'm okay. <laughs> Whoa. See, there's not a way to lock on enemies, which I find, I don't know. For me, it feels awkward, but I think it's purposeful. Like, maybe they don't want us to lock on enemies for some reason. I, I mean, I've come across games before that just didn't have a lock on for whatever reasons. But it's not my favorite to not have a lock on. Let's see what kind of damage that does. Okay. All right, big mushy. All right. Ah. Alrighty. Pretty easy. Easy so far. <laughs> Oh, I like how they have different designs. This one has a little backpack. This mushy with a backpack. I'm curious about the final version, if we're going to be seeing some, like, I don't know, different levels of difficulty. I mean, it makes sense for the game to start off easy, most games do. Uh, but, you know, I already did take quite a bit of damage. I'm at 20 out of, 20 out of 70. Yeah. A good show, but don't rest on your laurels just yet. Increase attack by 20% while at full HP. Uh, I don't think so. I, I don't even think I'll be at full HP for a long time. Uh, for a long enough period of time. I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll get a full heal at some point, but... All the better if I happen to sit at full HP with it, right? I would say so. Um, let's take this treasure chest. Coins in hand. Yay, coins. Power at your disposal. This is a very vocal... Very vocal um, narrator. So, take that. Oh, 
It's all the red. Health potion. Oh, we got... Oh, it fell down into the abyss. Uh, why? I wonder if there was a way I could have picked it up. That would have been nice. Pick it up so it doesn't fall off the edge. That would be a really nice feature, considering that things can fall off the edge. Take this water scroll. Um, chill will lower an enemy's physical defense by 30%. After using a special, using special, a frost orb forms above you. I'm going to go with hypothermia. That sounds cool. Congratulations. Your water skills have leveled up. The more unique upgrades you obtain for a particular element, the higher its resonance. Check your inventory to see what you've unlocked. Hope you know what you're doing. I hope so too, but I would assume water water is better than water fire. We're going to continue. Here we are. Overgrown pagoda. Alright, so where are we? I am redoing a few things. Sadly, I had to reset, and I don't think it saved everything that it should have saved, but it's okay. Look, at we even have some unique new enemies, because everything is so randomized. Uh, figure any little bit of practice is good, and I am so into this combat. It's very fun. It's like, it's, it's especially fun after playing some key locker. I enjoy key locker a lot, but like, this is a palate cleanser of sorts after that, and I really like this right trigger attack. It seems less powerful than I remember it being during my earlier run on the deck. So, I'm gonna... Ooh. Oh yeah, it saves some things. I'm at 26. I'm 70 health, so yeah. Doing good. It's funny how many mushy enemies we have. We have so many mushy enemies. Ah. Hooray. <laughs> Very cool combat. Very flashy. On the canvas with coins come bargaining power. Always useful in the trials. Alright. I find myself not really listening much to the uh, narrator. I mean, he has, a, he has a great voice, no problems. It's just, for some reason, I find myself just not listening. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess, like, the information that he says is kind of self-explanatory in a sense. I'll take some jade. Yay! Take this jade, that jade. It's kind of funny how the jade spreads out. A bit much so no map as far as i can see so really have to be meticulous with making sure to not miss making sure to not miss anything or not i mean it's not that important it would be unfortunate though to to lose out on a treasure chest i really like the look of this game the aesthetic it's just it it's a very very visually it's a really nice game, actually. Off in the distance, all that. Let's, let's keep on. Ooh, we have even more. I like that I actually have reasons to <laughs> break open all of those. I'm going to try to press right button more. I can get around a little faster, and I'll remember to press it, too. Because it's very relevant in combat. Right button. There we are. Lots of treasure. This water looks a little... These little steps looks a little funny there, but... Then go here. Mini boss shrine. Defeat the greater demon blocking your path forward. Here we go. <laughs> the gold crow. Oh, where are you at? Uh, uh, oh no, jump up. Jump, jump. It's a wonder that I have managed it all to avoid. Wow. You reminds me of a Marlboro. Like a golden toady Marlboro. What's funny is that I beat him just fine on the deck. And I'm all talking about how. Oh no, I died so fast. I'm all talking about how it <laughs> controls better. Oh, hey, look, we have our feedback here. Trolls feel, you know, I'm going to say this. Uh, Yeah, sure, I'm open to more. 
That's nice that they have that there. Run score is 1500. Act 1, stage 2. Revive use, revives used 0. Kills 92. Total damage dealt. That's cool that we get to see all kinds of things. We had a lot more that we could have could have gotten here. Let me return to the village. So I think I get to carry carry some stuff with me to the village here. The village is quite charming. The cultivation tree. Talk to old sage. We interact with this under construction. Our devs and artists, celestial architects, are still perfecting the landscape and sculpting the residents of Turtle Village. Thank you for your patience. That is it's nice. I really like the look of these these uh, townies. They're so cute. Welcome to Turtle Village, the resting spot amidst the trials. It's a humble place now, but together we could return it to it. It's grand old days. Revive your spirits under the immortal peach tree, where fruits of life and your labor await, nurtured by the guardians. Go ahead, your first pick is free. My first, my first pick is free. Uh, I get to choose a flight permit. Look out for the rooster's Yay. airship in your future trials, and be sure to have enough coins that tree. in your pockets. This happy old sage. Hooray! We have a new quest. So, oh my goodness, we have uh, we have other things we can get too. About helping hand. A choice of scrolls will be offered in the starting area of the trial. Platforming puzzle shrines can now spawn in a run. Ramen shop. Increase all challengers max HP by 5%. Increase all challengers attack by 5%. It almost makes it sound like the enemies might have <laughs> increases. Spend skill manuals to unlock challenger's technique slots. Personal altar. You can revive once for free in the trials. You know, I might get this one. And the next time I'll get helping hand. So that's the cultivation grid. Let me talk to you. Hello. Whoops. Ah. Nope. All right. Yeah, there's still more to see here. There's still more to, to unlock. I... I mean, more to, more to have happen here. Let's talk to the innkeeper, though. A white cat who rented our snug room has vanished without paying. He's last been sneaking, seen sneaking into quiet nooks within the trials. Could you perhaps track him down and recover his overdue coins? I'll find this cat of yours. Trailing this furry scoundrel is hardly simple, and my hopes are slim. But if he's out there, maybe he'll part with what he owes. Keep a sharp lookout. Look out. Gosh, I've been reading weird for, like, weeks now. I don't <laughs> I say words. I don't know what's going on. Uh, tea house keeper. Oh, crisis, crisis. My tea house's mushroom reserves are dwindling faster than a hare in the zodiac race. A kitchen without mushrooms is like a garden without flowers. Unthinkable. Tell me how I can help. You see, beyond the prickly mushrooms in the trials, there's a rare scrumptious treat high in the mountains. If you could bring some back, I'll make sure you're well rewarded, not just with soup. Fine, I collect three mushrooms. And sweat drop. That's funny, because... Yeah? Hey there. Glad to see you, but uh, first things first. These noodles aren't going to eat themselves. Kylie. Uh, after that, maybe I'll get comfy, take a nap, and then more noodles. Or buns, maybe both. But then I'll probably need another long nap. Oh, I can relate. <laughs> so, we might actually play as this character someday. It's funny, because... Uh, it's like when I see characters that are, you know, big and bad like that, like I I think to myself of how that just makes their hitbox like makes it huge, right? But maybe they make up for it with power or defense or whatnot. But all this stuff that I can't do too much with, but just taking a look around, interacting, golden lotus in. Hey! Lyra was born under an eclipse. Ever since young, she was gripped by a burning desire to prove her worth among the Zodiacs. She has the Omnislash. She has a lot more that she can unlock, too. Right button, then X. Hold X. Those are my things I can do here. Oh, so lore. Some very simple lore. Lyra was born under an eclipse, yep. Um, it's the innkeeper. Yeah, I guess there's not much else to see here we're gonna keep moving forward we now have look at this this looks cozy 
We now have a uh, full HP, so I'm gonna move along. Starter techniques, Blade Weaver, Ruby Shadow, and apparently we'll be able to upgrade these, so it's pretty nice. Let's start my trial. Back to the beginning in the abandoned ruins. The Zodiac trials have seen many hopefuls, but most leave with a tale of woe. We'll go with fire this most, time. But not all. With fire. Go fire, fire, fire. Let's take care of you. Oh! Hooray! Loot magnet. I like that we're having all these these little um, little accomplishments being noticed. That is, it's nice. Now this mushy, the last mushy, I think. But uh, no, oh you. Oh, my, uh, holding the button, You're approaching holding, the threshold of oh, look at that cute, Proceed cute statue. Caution. Gain 10% increased special cooldown reduction. Um, sure. I will do that. I have to be careful with my health, though, because just, I don't know, I want to be careful with it. <laughs> Take the fire scroll. Here we go. After a perfect dodge, or when hit, inflict 30, 30, 40 burn to the, <laughs> 30, uh, 40 burn to the attacker. While using dash, you are enveloped in flames that inflict 32 burn to nearby enemies. Hey, that's pretty neat. I'm gonna go with flame wreath. Destructive, unpredictable. Can you master its flames? I just have to remember to dash a lot. That's pretty nice. Our dashing doing a little little bit of damage there. So gonna run this way. Off in the distance here. Ooh. A, a scroll that will import impart upon you a random element. Thought it was more special than that actually. Yay. Ah, look at them all trying to attack me. There we are. Now you. Mm, get you. We can interrupt their attacks pretty effectively there. These are clumped up really well, so I'm gonna use my special. Check that out, that's really neat. I wonder if the fire element makes my right trigger special just a little better than it might otherwise be. I feel like that might be the case. I don't like this golem. Gonna... Oh no! I took nine damage, no! Why? Gonna... Let's take down the little ones first, and then worry about that golem. I don't like how coins can just fall down, even if it's just an aesthetic thing. I just... I want the coins to hover in midair somehow with magic. No. Yeah! Yay! Did it. I went very well. Remarkable. Even the monkey. Even the monkey. That move. <laughs> Primary attack. I'm gonna pay that. I like the idea of that. That happening. Okay, so we do get a little bit of a radar there to make sure we don't miss out on the scroll anyway. Uh, after a perfect dodge or when you hit, or when hit, inflict 41 burn. After using a special, a storm cloud forms. I'm gonna go with Lightning storm. Strikes with precision, yet leaves chaos in its wake. 
I'm gonna get more and more treasure. I'm gonna try to remember to right stick. Maybe I'll... Ah! Too close for comfort, some of these. Take some jade. Oh, goodness. Gonna... You. Look at these two. They are... Bonded... Um... I don't know what they are. <laughs> lamps. Bonded lamps. <laughs> Bonded Chinese lamps during the festival time. And then mushies again. Never go wrong with those. I'm gonna go after this lamp though. Yay. How do lamps get haunted, right? That one, <laughs> that almost looked, I was gonna say that that was a, a golem with a lamp face what it looked like. It was funny. Yeah, not being able to lock on and not, you know, kind of seeing the optimal way of things visually. Not my favorite of that. Except when you do the right trigger special, then you just see everything quite nicely. Hooray! A good show, but don't rest on your laurels just yet. Don't worry. I won't rest on my laurels just yet. Gonna get this treasure chest. Oh, how they shimmer. They really should just have a... Have a little GPS for that so we don't miss it. Increase fox form speed by 30%. When running through enemies in fox form, inflict a fox mark, which applies a 25% damage taken debuff. Charge attack. Well, I won't remember charge attacks. So I'm gonna go with that. Are a reward for your Box form, right Pride button. Suits you, hmm. but caution suits you better. Right button. So is that? I might be holding the right button. Use it twice. Oh no! No! There we go. <laughs> I was gonna go over the edge, and I even wasted a uh, usage of that, but it's okay. I'm gonna go with fire again. These grand structures are now There's something here now. Of their past, reclaimed by nature's Lazy cat. Grasp. So you've tracked me down on behalf of that frantic innkeeper, have you? I'll go back when I'm ready, not before. However, your persistence is commendable. Here, a token for your troubles. Now let me sleep. Hooray! Thank you for throwing that jade into the abyss. I assume that I picked it up somehow. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay, nothing over there. So that is now relevant. That is now relevant. We can be able to fulfill quests looking over there. We'll do this. Ah, the Get some of these. Progress. Oh, you. Oh, you. I'm inching backward. How dare you. All right. Ah! It's kind of a chaos, a sort of chaos. Funny hot. <laughs> nope. Take you down. Reminds me of Muramasa Demon Blade, the combat. But with a roguelite thing going on. It's too special. There's so many everywhere. Gonna have to kill the purple one, I think. To prevent the little little ones from coming. Yeah, they're definitely warping over here. Yay! The tiger's roar uh -oh. echoed here once. Poison? Looked like some area of effect poison or something. That was quite a sword slash that it was able to <laughs> travel the impact to the other other bunch. Other 
stuff is around here. So that is something. That's also something. Let me take a look. Just want to get a few of these. Actually, the amount of coins is kind of stingy from those. Uh, shields recharge 30% faster and have 15% reduced delay before recharge. What's funny is that I don't know what I don't know about shields, right? I'll just pay it. And shields, huh? I don't know about shields. I well. Not anything special over here? Nope. Kind of expansive, I would say. The environments are a wee bit expansive. Take this fire scroll. Your primary attack inflicts 80% of the damage dealt as burn. Your secondary attack inflicts 61 burn and conjures two flaming orbs that circle around you for three seconds. Um, I don't know what I want to do. Go with heated edge. Yay! Path. Resonance 2 unlocked. I've chosen my path. So, trader use coins to obtain upgrades from various places. This, or I'm gonna go with this again, the mystery scroll. I'll try to get fire if it's available. It looks like it just gives us a random grab bag of uh, possibilities. That guy. Oh, they are armed with swords now. They are, they are intense. I am button mashing at the storm. I don't even know what I'm doing. I <laughs> when in doubt, I just button mash. Seems to work. Reminds me of Seven Dwarfs, the little, little purple, purple friends, adorable baby mushies. I'm gonna liberate them from there. Their master? I don't know. I'm trying to make it seem anywhere near. Okay. A 7 out of 70. Ah, but it's not. Oh. oh. So much fire. Okay, now you. You lot. Hey. Okay. So, take that. Oh, you. Oh, I missed that one. Look at how much health he took away from me. It's extreme. On the canvas of your destiny. Oh, hey, what's this? Special damage is increased by 20%. I'll take that. Focus devotion. To make sure I do that more. Want to have a very special special. Take the ominous scroll. Dancing flames. After using special, fire familiar is summoned. It attacks nearby enemies, applying 54 burn and lasts for quite a while. Lightning damage you deal is increased up to 20% based on your current HP percentage. Oh, this one will replace something. Yeah, I'll do it. The one I would have picked. Oh, are they giving us advice in that sort of way? I find that interesting if that's what they were doing. See how I could easily miss out on treasure. Look at this. Jade does not polish Goodness. without friction. Not very different from a zodiac. Could have just kept going on and missing out. All kinds of treasure. Uh Here we go. Oh, so if I hold down right button, I can be in that form for a while, which is pretty nice. Look up. The rooster's airship sails Yay! In. Step aboard. I have 122, which is not much, though. Uh, what can I get? I can't get anything except this health orb. I do need it quite a bit, though. Oh, wow. Look at this. What would I get if I could? Can't get anything, but I would get 
Well, maybe this one. Cremation. Or Raging Blaze. I mean, can't go wrong with either of them, I guess. They cost quite a bit. So I want to see... This is my current setup here. A lot of fire. Fire, fire. Other. A journal. These are our ongoing quests. Having quests integrated into... To a roguelite in that way like a quest list and stuff at a glance it's uh something i haven't seen in a little while now i'm just picking up my paltry coins reminds me of um assassin's creed odyssey and actually any of the open world assassin's creed games they like to give you one coin for your hard work. <laughs> Breaking things open. One coin. Maybe. Perhaps. Oh gosh. Are we ready? We're healed up. Yeah. Mm. Oh no, we have a bunch of babies. Do they count as damage toward him? No, they do not. Ah! Oh gosh. Oh, I didn't push the right button. Goodness, this is so funny because on the deck I was able to beat him and I don't remember having any trouble. Oh no. Oh, I'm revived. Okay, thank goodness. Reviving is good. Reviving is marvelous. I did it. Yay! I don't know why I struggled a little more than I thought I would. Use this anvil. I like anvils. Phantom Sword 1 upgrades primary attack. Charge attack can be used while moving. Summon five phantom swords spinning around you and damage enemies. The phantom swords fly to a target after release. So actually, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to try to remember. To hold down. Hold things down. Hello, timekeeper. <clears throat> Bravo! Your conquest of the giant gold croak is marvelous indeed. So cute. Yet the trials hold deeper secrets. Step into the quiet ticking of time and meditate with me to unravel its cycles. Breathe in. As day fades to night, our stillness stirs the dance of time. Sun and moon in the et their eternal twirl make every moment a new beginning. I like that twirl. Look at that. Really is twirling. Embrace this cycle to master the trials. Breathe out. Meet me in the village, where I will reveal the secrets of bending time to your will. I like... I like the nighttime graphics. You know what? I usually don't prefer nighttime graphics. I like daytime graphics, but... It's a nice mood to this. Nice mood. Can't interact with that anymore. It would have been interesting if it uh, had me fight him again. <laughs> I think there were some games that did that. Made it so you could fight the enemy again. Maybe even on accident. Beneath Look at that. Beneath the calm surface of the waters, hidden dangers await the unknown. This water is pretty. Now look around a little. Anything? Oh, there's a little chair I can sit in. I can sit in it and enjoy the view. Oh, I can really run. Not too long, though. Uh, next reward, a quiet place to rest and recover. That sounds nice. 61 of 70. That revive was really worth it. <laughs> You're Restore. approaching the threshold of my interest. Proceed with caution. All right. I will. Use town lot cultivation, grid upgrades in town. I really feel like this might be the best best run, right? Um, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose this. Is it a mistake, I wonder? Is it a mistake to choose that? Should I instead get Jade? Hello. 
Why are they friend shaped? They look like the. No. Oh. This might have been a mistake. I should have got the jade. <laughs> ah. Inner vitality. Sling. 300. Oh gosh. Look at this. If I die here, goodness. Ooh. Well, if there's anyone who's gonna kill me, it's gonna be him, so. Oh no. Why? I should have gone for Jade, but I might not have survived anyway. Would you wish, wish list to your game? Of course I will. That's interesting. To have that, uh. So, we made it to the next stage. Yeah, the uh, difficulty definitely ramps up noticeably. Things become a bit more chaotic, and then it becomes more noticeable that there is no lock on. <laughs> yeah. It's it's a f oh this is a fun game though the combat feels really good really fast really frantic the art style is nice the visuals are are splendid that boss felt like a giant Marlboro it's nice to defeat him I like that it is a roguelite so that means that I can take my handy handy jade back here I like to get a helping hand actually get extra scrolls but. Wondering if I should instead get other things. Let me look. What about puzzle stones? Platforming puzzle shrines can now spawn in the run. Solving one feels great. Getting a shiny reward for your effort feels even better. Yeah, I get that. So I can show off that uh, that stuff. Five percent increase. Attack by five percent. I'm gonna go with this. Marvelous. Hello, old sage. Lending a hand to the village does more than you might think. Good deeds done here have a way of spilling into your future trials. Curious, isn't it? Some base building stuff. Also, I like, like the color of this old sage. Ooh. So cute. I know I keep saying things are cute. I. And what's funny is that, is it just the moonlight spilling on them that makes them look pinkish? Oh well, you tried. Anyways, I heard that cat is loaded. Next time you spot him, just give him a little poke. Who knows, he might just toss a few coins your way with the expression <laughs> golden lotus in unlock a technique slot i can't do that oh here are the different characters we can choose from in time we have three characters total it's good to know hello tavern keeper five bowls down 20 more to go Strange Wraith. Ooh. Who are you? You are interesting. Hush, hush. Not yet. Yes, where the snake nests. What is that about? Let's talk to the timekeeper. The clock ticks true. Glad to see you again, challenger. To truly grasp the lessons of time, I present you with another challenge. Vanquish the Moth Queen who feeds on light to bring forth day once more. Prove that you can adapt to time's shifting challenges and I will teach you how to reap the rewards. May the moonlight guide your path. It's like I'm Sailor Moon right now. It's... That is nice. Gonna see what else is around here. Anything here? Not quite yet. In time, perhaps. different places here. Let me look at this. Undiscovered blessing. Look at all this. Oh, hey. Oh. We have all kinds of things that we can do to try to get blessings. Wow. I really like this. I like that our actions are integrated into the progression of our character. This is kind of an ideal way to do things. So, I mean, achievements are not just achievements. They are fully fully uh, developed into the gameplay. Alright, so I will take a peek at our next stage. And I wonder if it takes place at night too. Look at that moon. Look at that very simple moon. I wonder if there's going to be a screenshot mode. I could see that being uh, potentially potentially nice because there are definitely some sights to see to show off nothing terribly interesting to add to the loadout 
so we are going back to the abandoned ruins yet again. It is nighttime still. That's it's cool. The original Zodiac Guardians, from rat to pig, each etched their legends into these sacred grounds. Now it's your turn. Hmm. I'll go with this. Maybe I'll try to do a lightning build. I don't know if it'll work out. I like that there really is a uh, sort of... Goodness, I'm getting attacked though. Getting damage. I like that there really is some randomness as far as who we're facing, what enemies we're facing. Try this. There we go. Wow. This is cool. So actually, I wanna oh I definitely want to make note that this is like you this is unique. So remember I was talking about how I usually don't go and hold down attack, right? Well here I am. I'm holding down attack, and it's very different from in other games. Like it's very worth ahead, doing. But the road only gets tougher from here. We have a wonderful Wonderful uh, long-range attack could have made a huge difference if I'd actually utilized it when you dash release a burst of water After using special storm cloud forms Do wave dash the die Guess we're doing water this time So I'm definitely going to Try to do charged attacks more often charged attacks are handled in a in a noteworthy way. This looks like you've stumbled upon a puzzle from Ooh. the Monkey Zodiac. Puzzle time! Oh, Slip come on. Tumble as you might, Challenger. Just ensure it is not your spirit that falls. Slippery, I know. What? Been there oh. once. Come on. Okay, we're gonna try again. Slip and tumble <laughs> as you might, Challenger. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Drakengard 3. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I did Perhaps it. Okay, it's not, <laughs> not not as bad as Drakengard 3 at all uh, when it comes to that. It's actually a nice break from things, but I've never been great at timed platforming like that. So it's going to be a little... A little annoying every time I try to do that, I think. So, what are we doing now? I feel like... Yet again, I feel like I could easily miss out on a treasure chest or something, but... We're gonna head over here. Water. Hooray! So there's a Ghost of Tsushima like, side game or something that kind of... Ah, reminds me of this. Or this reminds me of that. I forget what it's called. Something Legends, I think. Ghost of Tsushima Legends or something. I tried playing a little bit of it. I was really bad at it, actually. I didn't get very far at all. <laughs> Getting damaged. Alright. A little slower than, than I should be, I think. Here we go. Oh, I did a nice dodge there. Now you. Okay, this guy. I'm gonna do this against him. Done. Really like that charge to hack attack. But don't let the flames die out. Ah, a skill manual. manual. Ooh. A rare find. <gasps> oh, that's right. Act, keeper of scrolls Can use that. through its secrets. Nice to get something special so quickly. Yeah. This. 
So, after a perfect dodge or when hit uh, secondary attack, increase the inflicted slowing effect of chill by 10% and extends the duration. It's a water ag augment. About rolling mist and we'll get secret. sudden chill sometime Once if we even can. The horse faltered between these choices. Hmm. Yep, we're gonna move forward. It's nice to get a unique unique item in that book. You know we'll make some progress any way we go about it. Let's put this oh Hello? Easy. Here we go. I like the look of the water. Water attacks. Is that? Oh, I was... Smash that, just... Oh. oh, no, not again. Oh, that was so silly of me. I can't believe I took all that damage from that type of enemy. Oh, silly me. I think I might have even ruined this run in a sense. All it takes is one... One sizable error. I feel like uh, the last run, right? I was getting a lot of coins. This time there's a bit less. Cool to the touch, yet warm in the spirit. Oh yeah, they do that. What's funny is that because of the way the camera works, right? I have to be careful. Wait, what was I doing just now? Ah! A battering ram. There we are. Now you. You and your lamp friend. Ah! No. Handle this. Great. So, gonna get that treasure chest. I feel like we haven't defeated all the enemies at all. Did we not do that? Yeah, we didn't defeat them all. Where? Where are they? <laughs> Where's the last one? Oh, there he is. Ah, he is so silly. We can just take it slow and steady. Yeah. Yet Feels good. Challenge looms. Anvil. Downward secondary attack summons a rain of phantom swords at your landing point, dealing 84 damage. That's interesting. That says new. Um. I don't know what's better. At this anvil, I'll do that. Your choice sets the course. Will you forge a path of triumph or a chain of trials? Okie dokie. Ready to move on, I think. I think we are. Oh, my cat Flippy, she looks so cute right now. <laughs> Need to get a picture of her like that. Oh. Every stone. Every hey, brick, quest. Embraced by the verdant blanket of nature. Scram. <laughs> Get extra jade. That, that's nice. I don't think there's anything over there, so I'll keep on moving on. Nighttime. Nighttime adventure. Scroll that lets you harness the wrathful forces of lightning. I mean, we're kind of already set on a path, are we? Let me take a look. We have water, water. I don't know, I'll go with left button. All these coins Get some coins. This is... 
just a lot of hacking and slashing. A lot of stuff behind me and I just slash until till I know I'm doing okay, I guess. Okay. Where is the big purple one? Where are you? You are somewhere. There you are. Let me get you with this. Hooray! We take out the little ones. Oh no! No, you! No! Oh, I feel like I gotta get out of here. I mean, I kind of do. Mm. Yeah. Alright, how about you? Oh, he's hunting me! You may not. I'm gonna take you with this one. Ah. Yay! Guardians are watching. Intently, I suppose. So many of those red barrels. Can I go here? Ominous scroll. Hey, we have plenty of water. Chill can now be stacked up to a hundred percent where the target becomes frozen. After a perfect dodge or one hit, uh, I'm gonna go with freezing point. I keep Unexpected. avoiding the winter ward, I feel. <laughs> gonna take this. 314, that's a lot. We should try to... Have I forgotten to, to pick up these? Using a fountain grants a random blessing with a 10% chance for it to be rare. Pay for that. I may have forgotten these on multiple levels. That's... That's crazy, because I didn't mean to. Uh, well, this is a pretty shot. It's a... Pretty tree. Pretty everything. So... I'll go here. Get... My much-needed four coins. <laughs> Much needed four coins. Keep making my way. Ah, I'm gonna put this white thing right there. Come on. I want it to look perfect. Ah, do you ever do this in games? I, I like to do this. I don't know why. I I don't know why I do that. <laughs> the rooster's airship. The rooster's airship. Hooray. We have a... We have a good amount of coins, too. I feel, though, that healing is imperative. A hundred? Uh. You're 25. Primary attack inflicts chill. Gain. Ooh. Let me do this one. Hey, I can still afford to heal. 43 to 53. Is it worth it? I'd say so, yeah. I mean, who knows what's gonna happen out there? I'm gonna defeat the Moth Queen. Trade or use coins to obtain upgrades from various places. I guess I'll do this. I'm going for coins. We even have more, more of these. Oh, that's cool. Oh, sometimes I am a bit too zealous with my button presses and then there's a little bit of a, I don't know, need for better timing so that I don't get stuck in a in AOE. Uh, hooray. There's more though. Like this fellow. They're so chill, actually, these enemies. They remind me of the enemies in Dungeon Defenders. Ha! 
like that. This rooster. If we can just get a hundred, we can get whatever the rooster has. Hey! Your efforts are igniting, but don't let the flames die out. Alrighty. This is gonna be another situation where I have <laughs> I have uh, oh I have 101, yay! I have 101. That means I can get whatever the rooster has here. So I'm gonna do that. Increase your pickup range. This doesn't seem all that special. Doesn't seem worth it. I am doing just fine with my pickups. I mean, sure, it's a little more for more time spent, but it's not worth 100 coins that could be put somewhere else, put, put towards more growth. This place is expansive. Oh, hey! Healing. Those don't show up very often, actually. Is there anything here? Nope. We are ready to make our move forward and onward. I'm gonna take coins. Yay. 105. 223. So, unfortunately, I think we're gonna lose all those coins if we... Oh wait, evolve one of our techniques. Maybe we'll find something worth worth purchasing here. Uh oh. What's with that? One in the center there. Hmm. hmm. Take this too. This. Very busy getting my. Paltry coins. Hello. Mini boss. You've <laughs> so, I want to point out- Ooh, so cute. Look at that moth queen. What a cutie. So, what I want to point out for sure, something that I really, really like about this game, is the fact that we're not redoing bosses over and over a million trillion times like in all other roguelites ever. This might be one of the only roguelites I've ever come across that doesn't punish you with, with redo, redo, redo. Forever and ever and ever. Um, the fact that. What's going on? <laughs> it's funny just now. The fact that I've been moved up now, even though I'm starting from you know the top and all that, like. Uh... Oh, can I beat this moth queen, please? No, I couldn't do it. No. Die three times. Ah, I so close. And then it was over. Uh, I can handle it well. <laughs> I feel like I can handle it well. It's no, it's not really, it's not terrible at all. This is common of the beginnings anyway. Mm. I'm glad that we have things that we can take with us permanently. Too bad about the coins though. Losing all those coins, but there wasn't really anything to spend them on, I guess. Now you, old sage. Ah, the winds of fate, always changing. Perhaps today they'll decide to be kinder to you. Tree of cultivation. Oh, we have level two. Now we can get things from level two. Surreptitious, uh, serendip serendipitious, serendipitious aid. Increase the chance of health elixirs dropping for breakables or enemies. This could be very useful, actually. And... Kind of weird how I have to exit to do that. Max shields. Oh, max shields. This could be helpful too. Movement speed. I kind of like this. I oh, I spent spent my jade on that. That is how much I like moving faster. Message board. Um, and keeper. Gold lotus in. Right now, I've got more important things, like figuring out if this noodle-to-bun ratio is optimal. It's funny because, like... Who is that up there? Is that up there? Do you see? You see there's someone over there. 
But anyway, what I was going to say is that he just talks about food. That's all he has to talk about. The devs? Yeah, they're still working on my awesomeness. Okay. <laughs> See, I was going to say, like, in a lot of other games, uh, like Hades, for example. I'm just going to bring up Hades for the rest of my life. Uh, characters might have some kind of epic backstory. He likes food. That is what Kylie likes. He wants food. But hey, I'm good. More time for naps and snacks. Win -win. <laughs> he likes naps and he likes snacks. He has no backstory. He doesn't care. Even if he had one, he'd rather talk about naps and snacks. That's funny. The timekeeper. Hello, the timekeeper. We are getting all kinds of neat nifty things along the way. And... So where do I go now? I've forgotten. Forgotten how to use that booklet. Hmm. Booklet. No, you use it. I have to do something to use it. Is it this end? Might be. Oh, the technique slot. Unlock a technique slot. Exclusive technique. And there's techniques over here. Oh. Charged attack can be used while moving. Summons five phantoms. Downward secondary attack. Some, oh, so these, I get to keep these. It's quite nice. The ruby shadow. Let's stick with that one. Hey, I can change my outfit. Oh, wow. Look at these. Oh, here we go. I like this one. <laughs> that one's my style. Uh, so is that all that we can do is just increase, uh, get a technique slot. There we go. That's cool, though. Fox form speed by 30%. When running through enemies in fox form, inflict a fox mark. Running through them in fox form. Downward secondary attack. Charged attack. Kind of, I want to get used to using this because this is one of the only games I've ever played that has a worthwhile charge attack. One that, I mean, I can tell, right? immediately that it's worthwhile. So we have more lore. Lyra has a quirky habit of talking to her sword as if it were a dear friend, often providing running commentary on her opponent's lack of style. So what's funny is that like she she doesn't talk. We don't know anything about her quite yet. Uh, I feel like there might be a lot more going on in terms of a storyline. Or maybe there's not. Maybe Maybe it's just all action. But we'll see. I'm so tempted to continue. You know, I just... I think that this game is is fantastic so far. I really, <laughs> really into it. I like the whole idea of its style and the gameplay loop blended with visuals like this and combat that feels the way this does, just fast and flashy and enjoyable and having a charge attack that matters. I just need to use it more. But anyway, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out this playtest. I will have links in the description if you want to check this game out because it is a forthcoming release. Thank you so much.